Hello everyone, greetings from India. This is Indir Bhai Chauhan for Make Love Wear Self Learning Tutorials. Well, today in this tutorial, we'll be going through the process of how to model a drill bracket. We'll be basically dealing with the 3D modeling of a drill bracket, which is something similar to this model. This is a 3D model of the drill bracket that I have created in FreeCAD only, which was rendered in FreeCAD only using the Powerbray engine. So if you see during the modeling process, this was created in parts, then, then it was joined. So you see, we'll be following very basic approaches to model this drill bracket. We'll be firstly creating this T shape with this three holes, then this circular hole, then we'll creating this triangular edge of the face then we're creating the mirror shape of this initial T shape and then we'll just creating the fusion and then in the final step we'll be exporting this file in the STL mesh, mesh format where you can do your 3D printing operations so let's begin with the modeling process open the free CAD and let's have a new file go to the sketch workbench let's create a sketch for the T shape in the exit plane click click ok so now just create a T shape a very basic T shape without considering the dimensions for the first time make sure these are the straight lines so you snap it here so you see a basic T shape is constructed make these three end edges of the T equal just like this three edges and here is a equal constraint now set the symmetry of these end points with the X axis with this symmetry constraint similarly for this one similarly for this these two endpoints. So we have the symmetry obtained. Now let's fix the dimensions. Fix the dimensions of this edge. Let be of 150 mm. Fix this edge length. Let be of 30 mm. And this length be of around 1. 80 mm so you see we have a green sketch we have a fully fully constrained sketch now let's create the holes so let's create the circle just snap on this axis it will be easy we'll skip uh, if you model these sketches or the circular profiles on the axis basically us you are left with some less constraints you are able to skip some unwanted constraints so now just make all these three circles equal let's fix their radius let them be of 5 mm now let's fix this distance center to center distance of the circle with the end edge let it be 20 mm similarly for this this one, one will have the vertical distance from the edge let it be 20 mm make sure all these end distances be equal if you have any particular drawing you can follow the guidelines the dimensions of that now close the sketch now you see we have a very basic shape now go to the part workbench so now we'll be extruding this profile in the y direction you see from here now select the sketch here is an option to screw the sketch now select the custom direction let the axis be y let it be great solid and let the extruded length let it be of let's say it 40 mm and click ok so you see we have this extruded sketch now the next thing we need to do is we'll be creating the circular arc the hole that we need this one so select this face go to the sketch workbench click sketch and let it be on the flat face 
Now we will select this edge from this option. That is select create an edge link to an external geometry. Now we will create the arc, a three pointed arc, simply here. Set the radius of this arch be of 30 mm. Let its end distance from this point be of 30 mm and distance between the endpoints of the arch let it be twice the radius of the arch let it be 60 so you see we have the fully constrained make sure this is a closed sketch so that we can get the solid geometry just simply select this line select these two endpoints when they get yellow so we have some extra click here and delete we have a fully constrained sketch now click close so now we will extrude this sketch by going through part workbench again select this sketch extrude custom direction let the direction be minus one because we needed it in the downward direction let the length be of 30 mm click ok so now we have this profile extruded now we'll simply subtract it from the T shape so select this T shape first then the second circular arch profile here we have the option make a cut of two shapes so when we click you see we have a beautiful cut here the next thing that we'll be doing is these two holes and this half hole so let's start with that for that we'll be selecting this face because we need the sketches for the holes on this shape of the profile go to sketch your workbench create a new sketch on the flat face click ok so now I'll just select the external links the edges that we need now just first create the two circular profiles here let them be somewhat here the second one to be here make sure these are two equal circles make their horizontal distance be zero so they are in the straight line let's make them symmetry with the center as you see the whole profile or the model is passing through the center of this axis. so make this symmetry now the benefit of symmetry you can see if we constrain just one circle with the edge the other will be automatically done so select this point and point of this geometry let's say the whole constraint p of 20 mm now let the vertical distance be of 30 mm so we are done let's fix the radius of the circle let it be 5 mm now we're done with this now we want the arch the semicircle here collect this arch create this profile now just simply select this arch and the circle create equal constraint now just create the center to center vertical distance of this arch to the circle be zero so now it is in the straight line now fix this vertical distance that will be twice that radius that will be 10 mm now just fix close this arch as we did earlier to create a solid geometry click on this extra click delete so we're done with this now click close now again we'll simply extruding this for files so what we will do is go to the part workbench set this sketch extrude in the custom direction in the positive y axis let the length be 30 mm click ok so these are extruded now we'll just cut this symmetry from the previous cut so we are done now the slightly one change we can do is you see this semi circle cut is just above just below that previous circle so that can create problem in 3d printing remember that so what we, we can adjust them 
if you have some particular dimension then this may not be a problem so we can just create this slight changes let the this distance be of 35 mm the problem view automatically adjusts click close so you see now this is better now the next thing the final thing that we need here is a triangular cover which will be something like this so this is the simplest part so we'll be making that on this face select this face go to the sketch your workbench create a new sketch flat face so you see we are following the very similar approaches in each of the operations so it's a very simple process we have selected these three edges like these circles also holes so that we can create the holes in this profile only now let's just trace this path by creating this polyline we'll be tracing this path nothing more than that and our sketch will be automatically getting constrained so you see how simple is that now the next thing we need to just make the profile for the holes don't avoid them to constraint here because the tangent constraint may create the problem what you can do later is just make all these circles equal to this previous circle create equal so we are done here something is missing is this circle so this was not on the particular point so click these two points and select this creates a coincidence, coincidence constraint so we have a fully constrained sketch here now click close so what we will do is we will simply extrude this sketch this newly created sketch in the part workbench extrude profile we will extrude this sketch in the negative y axis you can just see from this global axis geometry here custom direction that is minus one let the thickness be 10 mm click ok so you see we have this T shape cover created here so now what next we can do is we will simply be joining these two shapes or creating the union or the fusion of these two shapes so select these two shapes here here we have an option the part workbench name make a union of several shapes so just simply click on that so you see how easily we have got the fusion so the next step we need to do is we'll look at the other shape which is totally in symmetry to this so for that you can go to the chart workbench let's have the top view so here we have an option create the mirror of the selected object so select this fusion object click on this mirror so it will ask to just mark the two points of the line along which you want with reference the another shape to be mirrored so we'll select the end points of this shape so you see we have the mirror done here so what next we can do is just let's make the fusion of these two shapes also go to the part workbench and create fusion so we have the fusion ready here let's see the perspective view so you see how quickly and easily we have modeled this drill bracket so the final step that we need to do is so we'll be doing the 3d printing when you need to do the 3d printing of this file what you need to do is just let this fusion and go to the file option just simply export so in the desktop make sure the save as type is stl mesh mesh format so here's the file format so let's save the file in the format drill bracket click save so now let's open that file that's our desktop so here this file in the stl format click open so you see so this will be a model the 3d model of the drill bracket that you can easily 3d print with your 3d printer so these are the steps we have covered in this tutorial well thanks for watching guys this one Nirpe Chauhan for make love via self-learning tutorials goodbye